Yes? Well, hello. Everything here is guaranteed to injure, maim, or kill at your discretion. Except me. I only kill when I want to. I've got a few minutes to browse. Let's get you outfitted, killer. Lady friend there. She's the dame who writes public occurrences, right? Good stuff. I always did appreciate good investigative journalism. You ever tried chess? Sometimes you need to sacrifice a piece to keep the game going. Keep that in mind. Hate the Institute? Follow the Freedom Trail, bro. Mayor Hancock? Well, if it ain't Bobby's little Patsy. Here, for protecting my stash. Why is decision turning on Bobby like that? I'm sorry. For everything. Hey, this is good, neighbor. No hard feelings. <sighs> Let me tell you, this classy little tri-corner hat of mine is getting heavy. Am I turning into the man? Some kind of tyrant? I spend all my time putting down the people I would have been proud to scheme with just a few years ago. I need to take a walk again. Get a grip on what really matters. Living free. If you're heading out, why not come with me? Yeah, I like it. You might just be the right kind of trouble. Let me just have a little chat with my community first. Give them the news. Everybody, gather up. I got something you all need to hear. No rush. Everyone just take your time. Look, everyone, I'm taking a walk. It's time for your fearless leader to get back out there. Mix it up in the dirt before I forget what that feels like. You can't leave, Hancock. We need you. Hey, I'm always going to be here in spirit, my man. Good neighbor and I, we got a connection. But like any hot and heavy relationship, sometimes you gotta spend time apart. Let things cool off. Remind yourself of who you are. So that's why I'm leaving. I'm still your mayor. I'm still gonna be here when you need me. But it's time for me to stop living so damn comfortable. Because we all know, no one in power deserves to be comfortable for long. Now. What's the best town in the Commonwealth? Where can someone live free with no judgment? Good neighbor! Good neighbor. Of, of the people, people. Of for the people. the people. And don't let no one forget it. Hey, Hancock. So, you ready to get this show on the road? Let's do it. Done. Huh, if it isn't my second least favorite mayor in the Commonwealth. Hey, Piper. Heading my way? Sure, let's go. Will do. Taking up with Little Miss Reporter, huh? I'm jealous. I can't tell if that's a compliment or a pickup line or both, so I think we're just gonna go.
Hi. Yes? Approach and identify yourself. Law-abiding citizens will not be harmed. <laughs> this area clear. Proceeding with search protocol. Locks really strong.
You're mine now, Rookie!
trees. Lee got the recorder working. So this the sort of detail you had in mind when you signed up for the Gunners? Hauling luggage from Lynn Woods for some robot butler? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Wellington? <laughs> Wellingham? Not now, Private. Where's Connors? He's not at his post. Oh, uh, sorry, sir. The lieutenant said he found some tracks. Wanted to check them out. Private Martin. Tracks? What track? What the hell is that? Oh my... C Connors! Where, where's the rest of him? Jesus. Found us. Sergeant Lee, grab the case. Do not let that thing out of your sight. Everyone inside the museum, now! Major! Major, what found us? Do something like that.
this one. No wonder they wouldn't tell us what was in that case. If I'd known, I would have personally told the gunner bosses and that glorified liquor cabinet Wellingham to take those Diamond City caps and stuff them. I guess we know why that Death Claw tracked us all the way from Linwoods now. When he stole their damn kids. Christ. Maybe. Maybe if we just return the eggs. Oh, hey, Mama. You looking for this? Hmm.
always on good behavior, aren't you? I try to be. Seems like you're doing better than trying. I appreciate it. Too few folks can be bothered. Of course, in my experience, if you want to do real good, playing nice only gets you so far. I mean, look at Diamond City. A place I've been trying to warn of real danger. But every issue I publish, all I hear is, Oh, Piper, why don't you ever publish anything happy? Piper, why can't you write something nice for a change? It's enough to make me want to hang up my hat some days. Sounds like it must be exhausting. Huh, <laughs> no kidding. But people, they deserve to know the truth. Sure, it can be scary, knowing what's really out there. <laughs> a night doesn't go by, I'm not afraid. Some institute drone will decide today's the day to pay old Piper and family a visit. But it's worth it. Because I know the truth. That's what protects us. Absolutely. Couldn't agree more. How can you protect you and yours if you don't know what you're facing? Exactly. Most folks, though, they'd prefer a comforting lie. Not me. I've seen firsthand what the truth can do. My sister and I, we grew up way out in the Commonwealth. Tiny little settlement. Our dad, he was part of the local militia. <laughs> Keeping the raiders off our backs and the Mirelurks out of our latrines, as he'd describe it. Well, uh, one day, our dad turns up dead. His captain, asshole named Mayburn, claims raiders must have gotten him on watch. Well, I didn't buy it. I start making inquiries. Turns out, the captain, he'd sold out. Thought he wasn't getting paid enough to babysit the town. He was gonna leave the gates open one night, let a group of raiders sack the place and take a cut of the profits. My dad found out and was gonna turn Mayburn in, but Mayburn got to him first. And I wasn't about to let that bastard get away with murder. I tried talking to the mayor, but he wouldn't listen. So, I papered the entire town in posters. Wanted for gross dereliction of duty, Captain Mayburn. The mayor sure wanted to talk after that. The town threw Mayburn out on his ass and were dug in when a very surprised group of raiders finally showed. Piper, you saved those people. No. Those people saved themselves. Because they knew the truth. But hey, I, I'm sorry if I've been rambling. I just get fired up sometimes. It's just nice to talk to someone who... who actually seems to get it, you know? So, should we head out? I think you've stepped into the ground, sweetheart. You don't look like you need them. You got the memory po- Uh, <clears throat> Good neighbor's crazy. Thefts, murders, worse. Sometimes you just gotta escape a little to make it through the day. I hear you. It's a mess out there. It's rough in the best of days. B -b but now, you ever listen to the Silver Shroud? <laughs> That's what we need. No matter how bleak things got, he saved the day. My family and I used to listen to every new episode. You mean when they first aired? How? The last broadcast was hundreds of years ago. I was in cryogenic storage for a long time. I only just woke up. Oh man, that's amazing! You're just like Mr. Abominable from episode 83! Wasn't he... a caveman? Yeah, that's the one. They found him in an iceberg off the harbor. Boy, if you just woke up. The world these days? Must take some getting used to. It seems like people are finally rebuilding and recovering from the nuclear war. Maybe in some parts, like Diamond City, but over here, we got a ways to go. I got a question for you. What if the Silver Shroud was real, with his black trench coat and gleaming silver submachine gun? I got a plan to bring him to life, so we can fight bad guys and give the rest of us a symbol of something better. Good on you for trying to make the world better. I've heard crazier plans to do it. I just have to do something, you know? I've built my own custom machine gun. Even better than the one in the show. But to make this work, I still need the most important piece. The genuine Silver Shroud costume herself. And they actually got one here in Boston. They made it for the TV show. Will you help? I'll get the costume for you. You're gonna do this? For real? Before the bombs fell, they were filming the Silver Shroud pilot over at Hubris Comics. 
So that's where you'll find it. You're the best. Buddy. I need It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. Did you try rebooting the... Oh. It's closing time, gentlemen. If any of you have changed your mind, it's time to go. James will see you out. No one. Very well. Gentlemen, it has been an honor and a privilege. Before we drink, allow me to offer a final toast. To the world that was, mankind shall never see its light again. There we go. No way I could pick this. Yeah. 
down. Go. Got it.
classic. Mr. Handy, a feather duster, and say what was that? <laughs> the secret layer of the silver shroud Anyone decides to pick a fight with us out here, we're in trouble. You're tied to this place, kid. Your energy. I used to live here. A long time ago. Ah, but the distant past ain't so distant for you. I saw you leave that icebox. This whole world is like some bad dream you can't wake up from, isn't it? The site can help you, kid. It always has answers. Just gotta bring me some jet so I can see what it wants to tell you. No. You're an addict. You need help. Oh, not this again. Kid, listen to me. I'm old. Even older than you think. If the chems are gonna kill me, then I say I've had a good run. We'd have never made it this far without the sight. We need it. You need it. It's part of who I am. The sight isn't worth killing yourself over, Mama Murphy. It doesn't have to define what you are or what you can give. All right, kid. You got me. If me hanging around for a little longer is worth that much to you, then I'll go clean. No more chems, no more sight.
It's always gonna have tyrants. Peace, brother. I got your costume, Kent. And some other goodies you might like. There she is. Pretty as the posters. The Silver Shroud costume herself. And memorabilia, too? You're something else. Together with my gun, everything's all set. Here you go. After all these years, the Silver Shroud is born again. But there's just one problem. I'm just not Silver Shroud material. I could be Rhett Reinhardt, or, or his butler Jarvie Blake. But the Shroud is strong, capable. Come on, don't sell yourself short. I got a better idea who should wear it. You up for being the Silver Shroud? You already got your own origin story and everything. What with the cryo vault and all? Looks like I get to be the Shroud. The costume and gun are yours. So you patrol good neighbor's streets, and I'll call in any crimes on my radio station. Here Here's some calling cards, I guess. When you dispatch justice, leave them behind. That way, everyone knows the Silver Shroud has returned. Time to fight crime! Silver Shroud fans, a once-in-a-lifetime announcement. The Silver Shroud returns and he's gonna clean up the streets. Everyone heard how Wayne Delancey murdered Miss hey, Selmy right and her kid over a few lousy caps. Death Hi is there. coming for you, Wayne. Right. Public occurrences. So who's really Can't believe it. Galaxy! 
You look just like Sam. Sure as hell didn't act like him. Institute thinks they can replace people with synths in this the town? They got another one. One man lurks in the shadows, oh. shielding the innocent, judging the guilty. That guardian is the silver What's with the fancy duds? Looks expensive. Might be I found a new friend. Your so crimes now, have gone unpunished yourself. for too long. What the hell's wrong with you? Well, Silver nothing shroud. a few bullets won't That's cure. You mess with me, you're dead. It's <laughs> 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 up to some mischief the mayor so he wasn't here in some kind of official capacity friend of the show jerry is here is this thing on hello hello it's on we're recording in here oh man Great. Great. The Silver Shroud's dispatched justice already. Miss Selmy has been avenged. First Finn, now Bobby. Shit, the Shroud off Hancock's Wayne? Hancock's racking up the body count. Wait, so this guy's actually for real? Finn and Bobby acted like assholes uh -oh. and got you what they had coming. It doesn't make you nervous? What if Hancock so Jerry, decides he doesn't like go the on. you're acting Tell the listeners about what we're talking about. Right. So AJ, you know the chem dealer by Bobby's. He's doing good for himself. Says he's got a whole new market. Kids. Even with his garbage chems, he's just raking in the caps. You hear that? Right. Sounds like the Silver Shroud has another bad guy to deal with. Uh, why? This Shroud guy, he's gonna muscle in on the chem trade now? No. He's gonna do something about it. AJ's selling the kids. And his chems have k killed people. And? I don't get it. Can't let AJ kill hey, kids. Look at the clown. This is my Whatever. turf clown. And I don't appreciate what you call them trespass. Galaxy News Radio. Peddling poison to kids, are we? Today you face the silver shroud. Uh <laughs> who you say? Oh, for Christ's sake. We can't put you up to this. He keeps moaning about the poor little kids. What the hell, right? Tell you what. I'll pay you, let's say, 50 caps just to shut up about it. And, uh, maybe get Kent off my back. All right? Stop selling to children, a miscreant, or face my wrath. Board up the windows because we're putting you out of business. Screw you. Waste the freak. You Mr. just need to escape. No, dear heart. Shroud's stumble. The mistress maneuvered. I knew of the mayor's misdeeds for many days. In our hands anyway. I followed him to that fateful meeting with Fat Faye. I was about to... Attention! Silver Shroud! The Silver Shroud's bringing justice to good neighbor. You bad guys better look out. And now, a special update. The villainous assassin Kendra was recently spotted at the third rail. The same Kendra who bombed little Joe Shack and killed four innocent drifters. If you want to see the Silver Shroud in action, stay near Whitechapel Charlie. The Shroud's sure to interrogate him to find the evildoer's whereabouts. Galaxy News Radio.